Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about how to dock your boat like a pro. My favorite technique is the single center line technique, which involves a midship cleat uh, in the middle of the boat and a, a single cleat on the dock. With the midship cleat securely attached to the dock, the uh, bow of the boat can swing in and out and the stern of the boat can swing in and out uh, and they won't hit the boat next to you. For me, the single center line is the last line to take off when we leave the dock and the first line to put on when we get back to the dock. When we're leaving the dock, uh, you can remove all of the other lines and you have the single center line still attached. Uh, and then you can see uh, what the tendency with the boat is going to be. Uh, you can tell if the wind's gonna blow the bow towards the dock or, or away from the dock. Uh, and then if we're leaving the dock, what I'll do is I'll just give the bow a, a push in the opposite direction, hop on the boat uh, and take off. If I'm single-handed, I will have the line coming from the center line on the boat down under the ears of the cleat, and I will hold uh, the other end in my hand. Then I can use the other hand to push or pull the bow of the boat in the direction that I want. And once the bow is where I want it, I can flick the line out from under the cleat, uh, hop on the boat, and uh, leave. If I have crew, it's very similar. I will just take the center line from the cleat on the boat, under the ears of the cleat on the dock, back up to the boat, and uh, I will hand the line to a crew member who's standing right above the cleat. Then uh, I'll be on the dock. I can push and pull the bow where, where I want it. Uh, I will hop on the boat myself, and when we're ready to back out, uh, the crew member will simply flick the line off the ears of the cleat on the dock. Coming back into the dock is pretty much the opposite process. We've got the uh, single line in my hand here. I hop onto the dock. Uh, now I'm looking for the cleat. Um, there it is. I'm going to wait for the boat to approach the cleat, uh, put the line uh, under the ears, uh, give it a wrap, and then I'm going to give the line a tug here uh, to just sort of get the boat out under control. You want the center line to be good and snug here, as I said before, because then the bow and the stern of the boat can swing in and out without hitting the boat next to you. Once the boat's under control, you've got all the time in the world to add the spring lines and the bow and the stern lines. Don't have a cleat in the middle of your boat? Install one. Don't have a cleat in the right place on the dock? Ask if you can install one. If you can't, uh, use a cleat that's slightly further out from where you would normally stop your boat, and then just walk the boat uh, into position afterwards. Just remember to slacken the uh, center line when the bow and the stern and the spring lines are in place so that they can uh, do their jobs properly. If you want to make things even easier on yourself and your crew, you can paint the center cleat uh, on the dock red uh, or tie an orange ribbon around it. So uh, then instead of looking for the correct cleat, you can simply look for the red one or the one with the ribbon on it. If you found this video useful, uh, please uh, leave a like, uh, leave any comments in the comments field below and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.